Learning objective number one in this PowerPoint states that you should be able to predict how a system at equilibrium will respond to changes in volume, pressure, concentration, and temperature. What this really means is that you should be able to apply Le Chatelier's principle to determine if changes in these properties will result in net reaction to the right, net reaction to the left, or no net reaction. According to the classical statement of Le Chatelier's principle, when a stress is applied to a system in dynamic equilibrium, the equilibrium adjusts to minimize the effect of the stress. Some students find this to be a confusing statement since it's not clear what we mean by a stress. An alternative statement that is more explicit about the nature of the stress is the following. When a reaction at equilibrium is perturbed in some way so as to change either Q, the reaction quotient, or K, the equilibrium constant, we say that the system has experienced a stress. To relieve this stress, a net reaction occurs in whichever direction will restore the equality between Q and K. When expressed this way, Le Chatelier's principle is really nothing new. You already learned that spontaneous processes always proceed from a non-equilibrium state to an equilibrium state. Le Chatelier's principle just applies this idea to a chemical reaction in which an equilibrium state is the state in which Q equals K. Let's apply this principle to the case of a gas phase reaction in which the number of moles of reactant differs from the number of moles of product. Consider what happens when we increase the volume. We know from Boyle's law that for a gaseous system, increasing the volume decreases the total pressure. According to Le Chatelier's principle, the system responds to alleviate this stress, so we get a net reaction in the direction that will increase the number of moles of gas and therefore the pressure. In this case, that means net reaction to the left. We can also come to the same conclusion by assessing the effect of the volume increase on Q. To do this, we write out the expression for Q and then use the ideal gas law to replace the partial pressures. After simplification, we discover that Q is proportional to the volume. Therefore, after an increase in volume, Q is greater than K, and so we once again conclude that there will be a net reaction to the left.